So this is the part two of CRUD application in Java. And in this tutorial, I'm just going to show you how you can create table in a database using your Java application. In the previous tutorial, we have already registered the JDBC driver. We have connected, we have successfully connected to our database on this on localhost, which was the CRUD database. So in this tutorial, we are going to run and uh, we're going to run a MySQL query to create a table with some columns in it. And we are going to create it using Java. So when I will run this program by creating the SQL query, it will create a table in the uh, in our database server right here. So you will found a table here works like magic. So to, in order to create, uh, in order to execute a MySQL query in Java, you will have to use java.sql.statement class. So we know that uh, the first step was here. So let me just write step one is register JDBC and we have already done that and here we are connecting to our database so this is step two connect to the database right so here I will also write system system dot out dot print line and I'm going to mention here that we are connecting to the database. So now we are going to create uh, uh, the MySQL queries and we are going to run it using the statement class. So let's first create a reference to this statement class let's call it stmt and initially we are going to make it null so now we are going to create table which is the step 3 is creating a table I'm going to write here system dot out dot print line and here I'm going to mention that we are going to create or creating a table right so now let's do the main thing in order to execute a MySQL query first what we will have to do is we will have to use the create statement function which is connection dot create statement. So this function basically uh, creates uh, or allows to uh, just connect your SQL uh, queries to the connection, which is, uh, which is our database server, right? So we have created a statement here. So now what we are going to do here is we are going to create a string SQL query and this query is going to uh, create a table. So I'm going to write here the query to create a table. So create table. So let's name this table as student, right? Or students. So now we're going to uh, create a um, circular base here and uh, we are now going to specify the name of the column and the type of data that it will hold. And we are not going to make it null. So we will make it not null. So let's add some more columns in it. Right, so I will add the name of the student 
and it will be a var care. I will mention the number of characters. So var care is basically used to create uh, uh, variable characters that means that it contains a string of 255 characters like this separated by a comma and now we're going to create one more column and we will name it as marks Right, so it will be an integer value. And let's suppose can contain 100 integers like this. And let's add uh, a primary key attribute to the ID. So we are going to make the ID as the primary key, which means that the ID is unique right so it cannot hold some uh, a copied value or some uh, id cannot contain the duplicate values so here we have created a sql statement and since uh, this uh, is a create statement uh, this can also leads to uh, some exception so it says unhandled exception type sql exception so we will have to write it in the try catch block like this and we will have to handle this exception sql exception e and so if System dot out dot print line. So if the query is not executed, I will write here table cannot be created. So now what I'm going to do here is we have uh, created a statement which is running the which will run the sql query on this connection which is basically our database server and the database is crud so in order to execute this sql query you will have to use stmt dot execute update function which executes your sql query so we have specified the string SQL here, which is this one, create table students, ID integer, not null, name varchar, marks should be like this. And there should be one more circular base for this one, right? So now let's uh, run this program and see whether it adds the table students with these columns inside our database. So let's run this. Okay, so it has ended with execution. So we must specify here that the table is connected. Right, so I forget to, I just forgot to write here. So system dot out dot print line function and table created successfully. So after running this program, uh, it will create a table. So let's see whether it has actually added the table in our database server. So you will have to go to the structure again. 
So yes, you can see here that it has created a table students for us. So let's see the structure of the student. So yes, you can see here that uh, the ID with the primary key attribute has been created, then name and marks has been created. So we have uh, run, we have successfully run our MySQL query of creating uh, the table students from the Java application and uh, we have used the JDBC driver in order to connect that. So in the next tutorial, we are going to perform the next operation. We are going to uh, create a SQL or a query which will insert some data in this table. So you can see here at this moment, uh, this does not have any uh, results. So you can see here it returned an empty result set. So that means that there are no records in this table. So in the next tutorial, we are going to perform the insertion operation in this table and we will insert some students with some marks using Eclipse, sorry, using the using this Java class. So in the next step, which is the step four, we are going to add user or add records in the table. So we are going to do it in the next tutorial. So thanks for watching and please like and subscribe our channel.